Um, I donated my eggs to get money for my own IVF. Um, it started probably about four years ago, and I got a call. I mean, I filled out an application to be an egg donor, you know, to get essentially to get money for my own cycles. Um, I was brought here by a couple that wanted my eggs, and when I met the staff here, everybody was just so great, and I hadn't decided on who I wanted to do my own cycle with, um, but after meeting everyone here, the doctor here, I, I had to do it here. It was, they were just really amazing, and um, they kind of go through everything with you, so whenever you're upset or whenever you're happy, they're all happy or upset for you and with you. So I came to Dr. Arnold after doing the first egg donation. I came back to her a few times to do more egg donations to um, be able to save enough money for my own cycle. Um, I came back to her instead of going to anyone else because I just really liked the way she did her patient care and she made sure that you were doing okay and not just your eggs and you weren't just a person carrying the eggs for somebody. You were a patient of hers as well and she treated you like you were part of her family and everybody was here for you and calling you and checking up on you and making sure you're feeling okay and really just cared if you were okay first before the eggs were okay. <laughs> so after my first consult here, um, I really felt like they cared a lot about you and they treated you like you were part of their family, like you were joining their family. You weren't just a person off the street that was, you know, they're going to give money for an egg, an egg donation. They they really wanted you to come in and meet them and know what they do and why they do it, and they want to know why you do it, and they really just want to know your your story, and they want you to know theirs as well. Um, my experience was really great. Um, they're really mindful of everything and they call you or text you or email you, whichever one you prefer, um, as little or as much as you like to make sure you're doing okay and to make sure everything's going smoothly and you're comfortable giving yourself shots and you're comfortable um, with the times they pick for you to come back and they want to, I live an hour away from here, so they always made sure that they booked me at a time for my appointments that I could get here without hitting a bunch of traffic. and. So, you know, they really want to make sure you're comfortable as, as well as they're getting what they need is too. So, they just, they work with you a lot and they make sure that you really feel like they care about you because they do. Well, you know, I've had friends that have gone to other places for egg donations and they told me about their experiences and when I tell them, oh, you know, the place that I went, they did this for me and they said this to me and treated me this way, they're like, really? Because that, it was so different the place that they went. They, they treated them like they were medical patients and it was very black and white and do this and here's your paperwork and sign this and come here at this time and I'll see you, like you're on my schedule right now. and they don't really treat you like you're a human being. They just, you're another donor to them. They want you to come in, give them what they want, and leave. Um, but here, it, it was very different. They, they come in and they know you by name when you walk in the door. They know, you don't really have to sign in. Like, they know who you are and, oh, you're here for, you're Danielle, you're 1230. Like, I already know who you are, don't sign in, you're all good. They're ready for you, like, let's take you back. Like, they already know what's going on. So, um, you really feel like, they care about you whenever you walk through the door. It's not just another, you're another number, another, you know, dollar sign to them. Like it's more of, they want to make sure that you feel welcome and not that you're just another person on the street and who cares. <laughs> Some of my best experiences here at donating eggs for this particular place is that um, they treat you like family. 
and I've actually become friends with you know some of the people that work here whenever I walk in they want to know about your day and how you're doing and they know your husband's name and you know your baby's names and how old they are and how big they are and they know they know everything about you because they care about you and they really know your background and don't just treat you like someone else or some other random person that they forgot about when you left. Um, it's a really intimate experience here. It's really, um, it's not like a big hospital. It's very boutique-like and very, you know, personal. It doesn't feel like you're just walking into a clinic and sending away your life. <laughs> you feel like you're coming in and, uh, you know, getting like the red carpet put out for you. Like they treat you, they treat you like you're royalty to them, like you're helping them so much and they're so grateful. Um, after doing my egg donations with her, um, there was really no other person that I would have gone to. Um, she just cares so much about the patient, um, about the science behind what's going on and she if you want to listen to it, she'll sit there and explain all day. If you have any questions, she will, you know, clear her schedule to answer anything you have. And she always wants to make sure you're comfortable and that you know every single possible outcome that could happen. And she wants to make sure that you have the best scenario. Like, for example, um, I miscarried once. And when I left the office, I was bawling. And everyone in the office was bawling with me. Like, so... No, I'm gonna cry, <laughs> but um, you know that's how much they care. Like they really care, you know, about your success as much as theirs. So um, I really felt like you know this was the place that was gonna get me a baby. They were really focused on doing whatever they had to do to get me pregnant. Um, whether it was, you know, figuring out a way to make a payment plan so I can afford it financially, or whether it was working around my vacation schedule with my husband and his job, and they just really wanted to make sure that I was, that the process was, you know, the least amount of stress as possible because you don't want to be stressed out for all of this. So they take on all of the stress for you and then they can convey back to you, no stress. Just, everything's great, we're gonna figure it out. Like, just focus on being happy and healthy and getting pregnant. They treat everyone here, whether you're donating an egg or, or your eggs or receiving the eggs or whether you're trying to get pregnant yourself, they treat you the same. You're not just, okay, you're not that important because you're just an egg donor and you're not trying to get pregnant, like, or you're more important because you're trying to get pregnant. Everybody's on the same level and you're a patient of theirs, then they just care about you. Like, it's, it's all, I don't know how to put it. They just, they're more of a, they want to get to know you and make sure you're fine than we want your business and your money and your, like, your time, you know? They always made sure, I just want to stress, they always made sure that you were fine. Like, they always wanted to make sure that you were 100% comfortable with the answers they gave you or the process or that you knew how to give yourself shots or and if you didn't want to give shots that you could come here and they'll give them to you or they will find someone to, <laughs> to come and give them to make sure you're doing everything on time and that you're so completely comfortable with the process that it, it seems natural and not so, you know, medical. Um, I wouldn't recommend anywhere else. This would be the only place I would tell them to come. I've actually recommended this place to a few of my friends. Um, even though I live an hour north of here, um, they all live up there as well. I'm like, you know, I, do, I drive an hour to come down to this place instead of the place that's 10 minutes from my house because of the way they treat their patients and the way that they really care. Like you're not one of a thousand people they're talking to, you know, you, it's a very small 
they only deal with a few people at a time, so you're not just another person, you're one of ten people that they're treating that, that you know, quarter.